Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am bringing you a Costco haul. It is massive. Probably the biggest one I think I've ever done on my haul. We bought workout equipment a couple years ago and that was pretty expensive, but that wasn't part of a haul. <laughs> so anyway, this is the biggest haul I think I've ever done. Uh, we decided to stock up. We needed a ton of stuff, meats, well, chicken, fish, turkey, You'll see. We got all the things. Uh, we also need things like cat litter, laundry detergent, dog food, wipes, things like that. But anyway, I'm going to turn you guys around and show you this massive grocery haul. <laughs> okay, I'll start over here. We have laundry detergent, cat litter, OxyClean, baby wipes, rice, and some dog food. And then over here is the rest of the haul. I will start over here. We got some Kerrygold butter. We needed more cinnamon. Justin wanted just regular sea salt instead of the pink Himalayan salt just to have in there. We got some ground turkey. So I don't know how many pounds. So one and a half pounds per package. Uh, they had Tylenol and ibuprofen back. So we went ahead and just got a uh, three pack of the Tylenol and a three pack of the Motrin just to have because sickness and kids and all that. We got some raspberries. The strawberries looked so good. Grab some of those. And then we've been making smoothies quite a bit. So, or for the kids for dinner. So I got the three berry blend. And I also got this massive thing of mango chunks to have for smoothies. I came up with a really good idea and I had a bunch of Greek yogurt left over a couple weeks back and I used the silicone uh, cake cupcake containers. I put it in there and then I froze it and they became like perfect servings of Greek yogurt for the smoothies. So I thought that was pretty smart. <laughs> um, I got these green beans and the broccoli. Both of these freeze really well. So if we can't get to it all before it goes bad here in like a week or so, then I'll just uh, package it up and put it in the freezer. I got some romaine. They didn't have the regular ones. They said the artisan rowing, which is fine. And then Allie, if you saw my last haul, she wanted corn from Costco. So we got corn again. <laughs> and then we got some chicken nuggets. This chicken breakfast sausage looked really good. It's not cooked. Uh, and it looks like there's no antibiotics, paleo, you know, all the things. So this looked really good. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then we got this string cheese. Next, I got some Pirate's Booty. And I'm really happy that they had the big bags. They didn't just have the individual bags. And then I got this Skinny Pop Age White Cheddar Cheese. It sounded really good. It's only 47 calories for a cup. So if I'm needing some popcorn or something, not that bad. <laughs> that and then we got five dozen eggs they're only $14.99 at Costco so that's about three dollars a dozen which is about Aldi price so went ahead and just grabbed five dozen we have a fridge out in the garage so we'll fill up what we need in here and then put the rest outside and then to finish off the breakfast meats I got this hickory smoked uncured turkey bacon uh, there's no denying turkey bacon definitely has less fat and stuff in it. So <laughs> went ahead and just grabbed this for breakfast. Uh, grabbed some Eggo waffles. Not healthy, but for popcorn night, we grabbed some microwave popcorn. Uh, whole milk, 2%. And then we got our favorite bread. The white bread. I eat the Ezekiel bread, but the kids and Justin love the country white. And then, let's see, we'll go over here. I got these bananas. We have a couple that we need to get used up, so I just bought the greener ones. Grabbed the peanut butter. Don't mind my disgusting stove. I got the maple syrup. We almost went through an entire thing since last time we went, so I grabbed that. And then we got the raspberry spread last time, and they had the strawberry this time. So went ahead and grabbed that. I got the olive oil. I got the beef base and then I got the chicken base for soups and whatever else. Uh, we don't have any of the bland cubes left, so I figured we'd just get this and yeah, we can make up soups and things like that with that. And then hands down the best marinara sauce ever. I get the hype about it. It's expensive as $11 for these two, 
but the t- the difference when there's no sugar added or anything is just so good. <laughs> uh, there is sugar in it. It's just not added sugar. Uh, so I got juice boxes for Finley's lunches. Got some fig bars. My kids love fig bars. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the popcorn down so I can show you guys the stuff properly here. We stocked up on poultry and... Uh, fish and all that. So we got this giant thing of cod. This will definitely be a couple dinners for us. Got this wild caught salmon. Looks really good. I'll probably just cut that up and freeze it. And then we don't usually do pork chops. Like I said, I gotta move all this stuff out. Hang on. Okay, put the milk away so I'm able to show you. <laughs> um, my last haul, we had bought pork chops from Aldi and they were really good. It was nice to kind of change it up and not just have like chicken be for like turkey <laughs> so uh grabbed some of these this is a really good price it's 329 which is just about all the price and you got all these for 23 dollars, which i thought was a really good deal they're boneless i'll package these up probably like three or four per serving because that's me and justin will each have one and then we'll have one for molly or Allie or whoever else eats so i'll package those up and then i got these chicken thighs which ended up, I mean, $3.49 per pound isn't terrible, especially if you go to the other, like, a just normal grocery store. They're about that price. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then these, we got two massive packs of chicken breasts because while they were $24, each pack was $5 off as well. That was, like, a special they had going on. So definitely took advantage of that. But let me set this down. This is everything that we got. Can't believe we spent $607, <laughs> but it was needed. All the stuff over there, it was definitely needed. We needed to stock up on stuff and, you know, be set for a little while. I would like to thank Dossier for sending me these perfumes. It was so kind of them. They all smell so good. I definitely have my favorites. Uh, Dossier is now live in 1,400 stores. You can find the one near you with the link in my description. There's finally a way to smell bougie on a budget, guys, thanks to Dossier at Walmart. It also makes for a great gift. The luxury fragrance dupes you can get at Walmart for just under $50. This syrup sells affordable scents inspired by these brands on the screen. They smell so good. My favorite is Ambery Saffron and Woody Sandalwood. I would 1010 recommend you guys going to your Walmart and taking a sniff. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sending me these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and thank you for sticking with me on the product that got sent to me, the perfume. So I appreciate that. <laughs> it's always fun now that I'm finally getting to a point where companies want to send me things. It's It's been pretty cool. So anyway, thank you for sitting through that. And if you're interested in that perfume, definitely check it out at Walmart. I'll have all the link and everything down below in my description box. But anyway, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.